Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to use Google Forms to schedule appointments. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Google Forms, just click on the sign up option and from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Google Forms provides a user friendly interface and that makes it simple for both the organizer and respondents to use. Because from here, you can customize the form fields to collect specific information such as name, contact details, preferred date and time, and the reason for the appointment. Now, for us to be able to do that, all we have to do is click on the blank form right here. Now, from here, you can put more information as you go along. Say, for example, let's have a title for this one. Maybe let's... And you can, of course, make a detailed description on, of what the appointment is all about. You can put something like this. Of course, you can customize everything to make it interactive, like it bold. Maybe um, underline it for now. And of course, you can put some questions here. Now, let's start with a um, simple question of a uh, complete name. And from here, as you can see, you can make it a different as well. You can get an underlying word and you can choose the option for short answer. Make it like um, you have the option for multiple choice, drop down, file upload and a lot more. But remember to and remember to always make it as required because they won't be able to uh, finish the schedule appointments without, you know, answering the uh, complete name. You have an ellipsis options here that you can tweak. All right. You can put some description like maybe um, like this one. Or if you're not happy with it, you can delete it. Of course, you can duplicate the uh, questionnaire. And from here, you can do that. Or basically, you can click on the add question. All right. Maybe like, um, say for now, contact number. And it's basically it. Now, again, it's the same process. When you click on this one, you can have a uh, drop down menu. You can create a file upload, check boxes, and short answer linear scale and a lot more but the thing is always make sure to have the required button on the go because that means they uh, they, they, they cannot you know they're not going to be able to uh, move forward or save the appointment if you don't provide the answer now let's add another question now this is going to be for the uh, date all right now for the date which is going to be uh, the schedule for appointment you can choose right here like a date and time say for example what's going to be the uh, time for here you can also insert an image right here to make it more customizable so let's do that now that the image is being loaded just wait for a bit there you go now since google forms is cloud-based it can be accessed from anywhere with an internet connection allowing respondents to fill out the form at their convenience you see in the very top you can click on the preview option because from here as you can see now when you, once you are happy with it all they have to do is just click on submit remember that responses from the form can be automatically synced with google calendar making it easy to manage appointments and avoid double bookings all right so let's do that like click on submit and from here just to go on to the uh, the upper right corner you have the ellipsis option you can make a copy move to trash if you're not happy you can get a pre-filled link you can print it if you wanted you can add collaborators by using the email address in your contacts you also have the script editor wherein you can put a custom CS code if you wanted. But that's more advanced if you ask me. Of course, you can get an add-ons and for the keyboard shortcut. 
And of course, Google Forms provide a convenient and efficient solution for scheduling appointments, making it a popular choice for individuals and organizations alike. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.